Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys who are new, I'm Hannah and if you haven't already, feel free to check me out on Instagram at Anything But Naked where I post on a way more regular basis and if you haven't already, feel free to click that subscribe button below. So, happy another day of Vlogmas. I'm so excited to be making this video for you guys. And if you haven't already seen by the title, I'm going to be doing a little Fendi unboxing. I'm literally so excited. This is my first Fendi purchase that I've ever made. And I just got back from an outing in the city and I really just wanted to sit down and make this for you guys. Also, I'm like a huge fan of just really informal videos, especially when it comes to like styling and unboxing videos. And so I was just going to do my makeup and get dressed up, but honestly, I feel like it's more personal this way and I feel more comfortable doing this and I feel like you guys would feel more comfortable too. Um, as you can tell, it's like extremely bright in my room. Okay, there we go. Um, and it's finally Christmas time in the city for those of you guys who are new or if you don't know I currently live in New York City and then I travel back and forth between Los Angeles, California and the city for work and also because I am from California um, but I have been on the hunt for anything Sherpa related, boucle, teddy and especially in the shade nude as you can tell by this <laughs> sweater, I've just been like really gravitating towards browns this season. Um, I'm not really sure why, but I think it's because I, I mean, I still do, I gravitate towards a lot of color and pink in general. And so I think that in order to kind of make my closet and wardrobe more capsule-ish, I just feel like it's a better waste of not even waste but it's just a better way to spend money on objects that can just go with more so that being said i was watching one of my favorite youtubers Alyssa lenore the other day and she had been traveling to london and ended up posting a vlog going to harrods and she stopped into the fendi store and showed it's called the forever fendi um it's like the teddy bag charm i'll insert it and then link it down below for you guys to go ahead and check it out as well um and immediately when i saw it i was like okay that's going to be my next bag i don't really have too many mini bags in my collection actually i only have one i have the jacques mousse like the mini mini one where you can literally only fit like a few tic tacs in um and i have that in the pink gingham fitting for me but i was just like i feel like this is a more practical mini bag and because i live in the city i tend to feel unsafe when i carry a giant bag with me especially one that has a ton of logos on it um and so when i saw this one i'm like okay it's a perfect color it seems like it's a good size like it's not impractical like it's still practical and it's a really cute color i would feel really safe just carrying it around the city um, and also something else, I've never actually purchased anything from Fendi before, so I have been following the Fendi Skims collab. Um, I didn't get anything from that, but I've just been really into the whole monochrome Fendi neutral vibe. And so I looked up this bag online, could not find it anywhere. I love a good hunt when it comes to pieces that I feel like I will have for a lifetime, and so I will really invest not only the finances but the time to find it and then i always try to find the best possible deal that i can just because i feel like in the city and just in general like why not if you can spend a little more time and find it at a lesser price point and still have the same quality it just makes more sense to do that um so i looked and looked and looked i could not find it anywhere other than the fendi website so i looked on the store locator and it said that they had one in new york city and usually like in the past based on other experiences when it says they have one that means they have nothing left because either it's like an inventory mistake or um you know somebody probably already bought it and they just haven't updated the website but essentially this so this was yesterday i picked up the bag yesterday um and i had work scheduled for the afternoon and i just gotten back from classes and i was like okay i'm gonna see how long it'll take me to get to Saks Fifth Avenue on Fifth Avenue in the city because they just opened a Fendi boutique inside. So I was like, it says they have one. I'm going to take my shot, um, sprint down there. It's literally two miles away and I got there in 15 minutes 
I was like when I tell you I was running through the crowds and like walking on the side of the street like that's not even an exaggeration um, so I finally got there with enough time and then I was like okay if I get there in time and I have it I'll get it and then I'll go there straight from straight to work so I ended up doing that but when I first got to Saks it took me forever to find the Fendi boutique they just didn't really know where it was and I was like it's okay like I will browse I'll find it so I eventually found it um, and I was so nervous because I saw another woman at the cash register checking out and she had a mini box and I didn't see any out and I was like oh my god she probably just bought the bag I wanted like I don't know what I'm gonna do now because it's gonna take forever to find and at that point like I pretty much had my mind made up that I definitely wanted to buy it if they had it just because for me like when I see something that I love I know that it's just going to incorporate so nicely into my wardrobe um, and it'll just fit with my style long story short they had one more and she pulled it out and immediately other people like stormed around me and they wanted to see all the other styles and the micro Sherpas you know teddy bags that they had and I looked at her and I'm like okay I'm gonna get this one because I'm not gonna take my chances if I really, really, really hate it, I can return it, but I really don't think that's going to happen. Um, and so I ended up purchasing it, and the people there were just so, so friendly. Um, but like I was saying before about the bag, this is kind of a new era for me in my wardrobe, I feel like, because I am starting to get more neutral pieces. And another thing for me when I look at bags now, you know, living in the city and having a life outside of school and, you know, work, I think it's really important to have pieces that are practical. And I had a few other bags that I have collected in the past and I really just felt like they weren't really fitting in with my current vibe and just like how I want my wardrobe to transition into. Um, and so I decided that I would try to consign those pieces and then the money that I make from that I will put towards this bag. So that's what I ended up doing. So I actually made an appointment at the Real Real and if you guys haven't heard of the Real Real, they are, and this is not sponsored by the way, it would be a dream come true if this was sponsored by the Real Real, but I absolutely adore them, especially because the fashion industry is such a huge contributor to um, just global pollution and I am a firm believer in sustainability and resale and consigning so I took a few of my bags um, there and I consigned them and so the money that I earned towards that I put towards this newer bag and so something that I really want to concentrate on going forward is just sort of one thing goes into my closet and then one or a few items go out and then kind of just reusing the money from the bag so Hopefully I won't ever get sick of this bag, but if I really end up not using it as much in the future, I will most likely consign it through the Real Real or another platform and then use that money and then put it towards something else. Um, and I think it's just such a fun way. Like I said before, I love looking for things. And so especially when you find a really good deal or a piece that you have been wanting for so long and it's already been loved by somebody else, I just think that's so beautiful. And so... Um, yeah, like I was saying, I ended up consigning a few of my bags and then also a few pairs of shoes that I just haven't worn in a while that just don't make sense right now for me in my life. Um, so yeah, that being said, I'm so excited to get into this video. Um, and I feel like it's really important to say that in no way is this bragging. And I feel like it's somewhat cheesy to say that in my videos, especially because we all work extremely hard. Um... And like I tell people, I have multiple jobs, um, including school as well, um, and internships. So um, I feel like it's really important to treat yourself to things if you work hard for your money. And if you know that you love it, I think there's no harm in, in treating yourself once in a while. So with that, I want to get into the video. So I honestly never thought that I would be featuring a Fendi bag on the blog, but Lo and behold, here we are, and I'm so excited. So obviously it comes in this, and it's so cute. They put a little bow on the bag as well, which I am so, so, so obsessed with. Um, and apparently they were super low in boxes, so I had to wait like 20 minutes while he went downstairs to get a box. Um, but it came in this mini Fendi bag, and I think it's so adorable. It's like the perfect little size. As you can tell, She's a mini bag, but she's not like too, too small. 
Um, and so then it came with the little card, obviously. And here we go for the grand unboxing of this bag. And when I asked the gentleman to look up how many there were in the States, just because for those of you guys who don't know, they charge a higher tax in New York City. And so I wanted to see if I could find one in California, but there are only seven left in the country. And um, A, they were going really fast, and B, they just didn't have any in California. So it wouldn't have made sense for me to wait anyways, and I couldn't get it online. So I just decided to go ahead and get it, and it comes in this adorable little dust bag that I am so obsessed with. I'm a sucker for a good dust bag, honestly. Like, I love putting my underwear and bras when I travel. Um, I just think it's so perfect. And oh my god, it just got so bright in here. Like, it's crazy. Um, but here she is. She's so cute. So this is the Forever Fendi. It's like the Nano Bag Charm in the Teddy Sherpa. And I guess what's really cool, which I didn't notice when I first had started looking, is that this does like turn into a bag charm. So you can actually open this piece and then hook it on to um, another bag. Obviously it doesn't have to be Fendi, but there's like a little clasp and it just opens, which I think is really, really cool and a good, um, it's like a smart feature to have in a bag. But on top of that, on the inside, it also comes with a strap that you can attach so here's the strap that it comes with just like this gold chain strap and then you can hook it on to the little clasp like this so here's like one side and then if I go and strap it to the other side it becomes a little crossbody and I feel like this is great. I did the test run last night and it can pretty much fit my credit card, a chapstick, my keys, um, and then my ear pods. So like it still is really practical in my opinion. And I have so many shots that I want to take with this, especially for the winter. Um, just a lot of like neutral snowy photos and content. I feel like it would just be so perfect for it. And like I mentioned before, safety is something that I'm always concerned with, especially being a young woman in the city. I just think you can never be too careful. Um, and so she fits like perfectly crossbody and it sits at a good location. It's pretty much to my waist when I do it crossbody. Um, so I tried around in the store and honestly, I fell in love. I just feel like this is a piece that is just timeless and it's very limited and so I just think it's a really good investment. Um, and that's something that I've also been more in tune with is investing in pieces that I know that are timeless, um, that I won't regret having not gotten. And that's happened to me in the past where I've waited and waited and waited and then um, you know, certain things are discontinued and then no restock. And especially with supply chain right now and just kind of everything that's going on in the world, I did not want to take my chances. So I think that the price point was pretty reasonable for this, um, especially given the fact that it's Fendi. Um, and like I said, I did consign other bags in order to put the money towards this. And I'm just so glad that I did. Um, and then also I noticed in the Fendi boutique they had these purple bags and I guess the okay so my memory was full but essentially these are with the Fendi Skims collab and they were kind enough to give me a little box and a carry bag and I just want to use these to wrap gifts for the holidays um so that being said I'm gonna go and rewrap this and stick it under the Christmas tree and not open it until Christmas um but I'm so happy that I actually got to film this with you guys I just, I wanted to share my find because whether you're looking for a new bag or you wanted encouragement or just to kind of get some ideas in terms of new styles that are out, I feel like this would be extremely helpful. Wow, I really am running out of battery, I mean storage. Um, but that being said, with that I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, stay tuned for more vlog missy vlogs coming your way i hope you guys are having the most amazing holiday season and i will talk to you guys soon bye